Watch with your eyes. Pull your head out of your ass. Hold this, kid. Hey! Apologize. I'm not apologizing to you. Not to me, to him. Sorry. Hi, sweetie. Mom, will you come into the city and meet you for lunch? Please don't come in, Mom. That is not why I'm calling. What's the matter? I think I messed up at work today. This isn't my first murder case. I did major crimes in Trenton. Trenton. I think you're amazing with a jury. They must totally relate to you. We had a big meeting today. The DA might have discovered the weapon she used to bludgeon her roommate. It's a pair of pliers. That's not a murder weapon. Excuse me? Oh, this should be good. There's no growth in the nail bed, and her shellac still has first day sheen. If Miss Moore used a pair of pliers in a messy murder, she would have chipped a nail. My sister's a manicurist. I'm sorry. Who are you? OK, deep breaths. Take it easy. Luke Aronson wants to see me. Who's he? Sounds like a tool. A senior attorney here. This could be bad. No, no. He probably just thinks that you're gorgeous and smart. Is he short? Short men love you, Martina. Donovan Stark is so grateful for your contribution to the Moore case, he's anointed you third chair on another murder case. Martina's here! Baby Big Shot coming in from the city. Late and empty-handed as usual. Good to see you too, Deb. What happened? They put me on a case already. Third chair. Oh! Oh, and you were so worried, huh? Let's see. We were trying to piece together Professor Robinson's final hours. I didn't see him that night. Well, how often did you go to his apartment? I didn't say. Well, you said you didn't see him that night, so uh, sounds like there were other nights you did see him. That just earned her a subpoena. No, 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 no. We're uh, working on that case of the professor where uh, you work in the night he was killed. No, no, he wasn't in here the night he was killed. We just blew up the prosecution's timeline, didn't we? We need to find out where he was. I'm going to recommend that we plea out with Ellie Fordham. I agree. I don't. You want to wander with a witness who could be an asset to the prosecution? You have business cards from Stark and Rowan on the same stock paper as Natalie Minka. You are a fancy lady lawyer. I have three lives to take care of. Mine, my mother's, and my sister's. And I'm gonna fight for all of them. It's a little tight for court. I wish it were more comfortable. Well, honey, you don't have to sleep in it. You just gotta look good. I don't think that cardigan's gonna be enough. Not nearly enough. Fix it. A law degree, and I still end up in the bathroom doing makeovers. You ready? I'm good. Don't worry. You lower expectations just by walking in a room. This is not a pep talk, is it? It's go time. Your Honor, I'd like to admit into evidence two voicemails Professor Treaster left the night Michael Robinson was murdered. Objection. Your Honor, the voicemails prove Professor Treaster gave false statements to NYPD. We Your have Honor. enough evidence to warrant a re-examination of the charges. You better, Ms. Beretti. Counselors in my chambers. We've got evidence, motive, and medical opinion, Your Honor. And, Your Honor, you don't want to get Miss Goretti talking about corrupted blood samples. We'll be here till Christmas. I do sense a high level of passion from your colleague. Please don't do a victory dance in my office, Counselor. You dropped the charges, Ellie. You're free to go. It's over. She did it. Yep. She did. Martina Francis Goretti. You were sensational. Mom. You are. Hold still. It's got some bite. I'm tougher than I look. <laughs>